Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a little while since the last time I uploaded, but um, I'm hoping to be a little bit more consistent with uploads now. Um, I have a lot more time with this quarantine thing, and I've made some changes since the last time we have seen each other. Uh, yeah, I kind of tore down most of my house. Uh, there's Cornwallis. Um, and so the reason behind that is because I plan on building a new house off over in the distance. I just swallowed my spit really loud. I hope that didn't pick up on the microphone, but I just said it anyway. So, oh, well, I guess I got to claim it. Um, but I'm planning on building another like house over on that island over there. And that probably sounds really stupid and like a waste of time, but it's going to be really cool because... What my plan is, is to have, like, a sort of tunnel leading from this island over here to my base inside of the uh, moat. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build, like, a little wooden house right here, and I'm going to put, like a, little, like, a little pier on it so that I can put my boats, like, right there leading out like on this side on the left right here um and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tunnel underneath through the basement of my house and then like out into the water and then the tunnel's gonna reach into this house right here and uh i think that's gonna be pretty cool um so that's what i'm working on in this video today um as you can see i'm building up the walls of the house and uh i think i'm gonna actually record me building this one uh, the last house I built, like my first house, I didn't really record much of me actually building it. I kind of just, one video, I started it, the next video is pretty much done. So um, this house is going to be a lot smaller than that one. Um, but I think it's going to be a little bit different. Um, and then, so in a couple of the worlds that I've been playing on just for fun, because uh, I didn't really want to play on this one that much, aside from like tearing stuff down. Like I didn't want to build anything new, really without recording it and I just didn't feel like recording uh, a ton of gameplay and I haven't really been playing that much anyway but we played a little bit uh, I played with my girlfriend a little bit um hi Nicole uh <laughs> so but we built this really cool house in our world together and basically I'm taking that same format and I'm building it over here too because I'm not really good at coming up with new designs for houses so Sorry, I just yawned. Um, basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to build this like little kind of wooden hut with the deck, like I already said. And then underneath, I'm going to build a room that's kind of like poking out into the water. And basically, I'm going to put like a big glass window. And it's going to look out into the water. So I'll like have like an almost like indoor aquarium. And you can see those, uh, I forget what they're called. But yeah, those those things, um, they're off in the distance. And I, I deal with them later, but I was going to, like, pretty soon after this. But I had to go back to my house to get a sword, because I didn't bring, like, a sword with me. I don't I don't think, I can't see what my tools are right now. Um, the voiceover thing's blocking that, but I think that's why I went back. But I plan on, like, capturing some villagers at some point and having them live here. In these houses, I already set up, like, a farm and everything. I could put something on the other side, too. Leave some suggestions, like, maybe if you want to want to help me out with that like i know how like to get the villagers and whatnot but like things to add to that little area over there that would um make that like better or worse i'm not like an expert at this game or anything but i thought that'd be pretty cool i've seen other people like put little like villages like capture villagers and whatever and like trade with them and stuff so that's the plan um i decided to put a door here so I think the deck is going to come out like that way, facing the same door. The same door, the front door. It's the only door in the house so far. But, um, and it's going to like lead out into the water. And then from there, I'll be able to like just easily access boats. And that way I could do a lot more exploring than I have been doing recently. A lot of my videos basically just take place inside of the world that I already have. And uh, so this is this, this is me. 
I was talking to myself as I was playing, and uh, I basically was saying that I wanted to build the tunnel from the house to the basement. So this is me digging out the tunnel um, from inside the basement. And I was kind of worried because I didn't know if it was going to clear underneath the moat. And you're probably thinking, like, you could have just checked the coordinates, but I didn't think to do that. And I left that clip in there just because I think it's really, um, just like a satisfying thing to look at when you put the torch down and it breaks all the gravel. I, I, I like that. I hate gravel, but I like that. So basically I reached the end and this is like opening up into, uh, the, uh, the outside like lake area in between my, the land where, uh, my already houses and then the land where my new house is going to be and um i think that i just i just swallowed really loud again um i i still do voiceover commentary like uh i could have easily done like better commentary but oh well i think that when i only upload like once every four months it kind of lowers the expectations of the quality of the video so the fact that i'm even uploading a video is kind of impressive at this point so this was me just kind of building out the uh, the tunnel that's going to lead into the house. And between having to come up for air and fighting off those stupid drowns, this was like the most tedious process. It was just so frustrating. And um, they were just like all over. Like I, I tweeted out earlier because I'm recording this. A uh, voiceover uh, after obviously I played. Um, how annoying I find those stupid drowns. Like, they're my least favorite part of this game, and it's not even close. Like, they're just so pointless. They don't, I mean, and to my knowledge, they don't do anything really positive except I think they drop those shells. I think you could use that for something. And I mean, obviously, like, every once in a while you get a trident. That's pretty cool, too. But. Aside from that, they just are such a nuisance, too. Like, it's bad enough that you can't breathe underwater unless you have, like, a potion. And there's, like, that one thing you can build. I forget what it's called. I, I don't know that much about the game. You guys probably can tell that by now. Um, If you know any other purpose for them and I'm just stupid, then you can let me know in the comments, too. Um, But, yeah. So, I, I finally... These dudes just, like, dipped. And then they came back, and I tried to fight them in the water. You saw that, but, like, I, 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 I had to dip in, eat some food, and get my health back up and come back. So now I'm back, and I'm, I was able to take them out. And I got Bad Omen, and then almost immediately after, I died for this stupid drown with the trident. Those tridents do so much damage, dude, and it's so hard to try to fight underwater. Because I can't even, like, I can't breathe. It's hard to swim. And then half the time I'll be hitting them, and it'll, like, go right through them, and it won't take any damage. And, I don't know. I think I'm just complaining about me being bad at the game. But it is what it is. I still have fun. So I had to go back and collect all my stuff. And so I went and did that real quick. Um, I did get the rest of the stuff, too. I just didn't want you to watch me swim around in circles, making sure I picked everything up. And then right here, I tried to throw the trident in the water because he can throw the trident in the water. So I thought I would be able to, too. But I guess not. So that didn't work. So I had to come down here and hit him with my sword instead. And uh, I got my revenge real quick. He died. So that was pretty cool. I felt accomplished. But more pulled up. There's this one right here. And I think a second one was behind him, too. Yep, here comes his buddy. These dudes are all over the place, and you don't even understand. I cut out most of the footage of me fighting them because I thought it would just get boring after a while. I mean, not that the video is, like, super entertaining anyway, but this part, like, I had to stop building my tunnel so many times just to kill them, and then more would just start coming over and over. Like, they just kept following each other. So it would be, like, a solid, like, five to ten minutes before I got back to doing what I was doing. And I think that's a slight hyperbole on my part, but you get the idea. It took forever for me to finally just get in like a stretch where I would be able to build that tunnel out. So I was digging out the part underneath my house where the tunnel's gonna come through and then up. And then I, it'll probably just go into like that that basement aquarium room that I was telling you guys about. But um, I haven't really decided yet. I haven't done much on the house itself. Today's video was mostly focusing 
on the uh the tunnel and then i'm hoping to get another one out uh for you guys tomorrow um as you can see by the title uh this quarantine has given me a lot of time a lot of free time so i'm planning on obviously like i have school work to do um and getting ready for uh like college next year but i um want to uh take this time that i have that i'm like stuck in the house without a lot to do to kind of get this youtube channel back up and going but obviously um school and stuff has to come first in uh in that regard so i'll try to manage my time and be able to get some of these videos out for you guys i really don't have a reason why i won't be able to um because i really don't have much else to do so trying to trying to flip this into a positive thing and take this time to kind of whatever i'm just being redundant now and thinking of different ways to say start posting videos again because i haven't posted a video and i think about like five or four months i'm not 100 percent sure but it, i only know is it's been a while and so this was me just kind of as i said building up the tunnel um it took a while and i didn't want to put like only like i I guess I really did only put footage of me building the tunnel in this video, but um, it's basically me building the tunnel and also fighting off the drowns, but I built it out of cobblestone, and then, uh, that was stupid, I didn't need to say that, you guys can see I built it out of cobblestone, but um, basically, after I got done building the outer walls, I'm just going to, like, I went back in and I filled it in with dirt, right? And then I put the top back over it. Um, you'll see that in a minute. Um, and it's going to be, like, a like just, like, a 4x4 four four cube. And then another drown pulled up. I killed him, I think. I'm not really sure. I might not have. He might have killed me. We're not really sure. It cut out in the video because I cut that part out. So I probably did die. Um, <laughs> but this is me filling it in with dirt. And basically the idea behind that was... I needed to get rid of the water somehow, so I filled it in with dirt because that would be the like easiest thing to break away, like dirt and sand. I at least I felt. I mean, I couldn't think of anything else. I thought that was pretty simple as long as I had a shovel, which I did. And then I just filled in the top on top of that, which made the t filling in the top part a lot easier too. And then afterward, I went back inside my house and I dug out the tunnel inside, and then I put up like torches and whatever, so like I wouldn't have a bunch of monsters spawning inside there because it would get dark. But basically, the idea behind this is, um, I mean, nothing really. I just thought it'd be cool. I wanted to change things around in my world. And uh, I wasn't really happy with how the the house was, like, looking. Like, at first, I was like, all right, this is pretty cool. Like, I could handle this house. But after a while, I kind of got bored of it. And then I just, like, really wasn't happy with it from the beginning. But I kind of convinced myself that it looked cool. And I mean, it wasn't like the worst thing ever, but I definitely could be improved. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the like upstairs of this house, but I wanted to add just a little new touch. And so this was me digging out the dirt. And like I said, I was going to put up torches so th the monsters wouldn't spawn inside. And this was like a perfect little example of what I was talking about. So I was able to put up some torches to keep it lit and, um, sorry um i kind of lost my train of thought so i put up the torches and then i ran back to kind of give a demonstration of how that connects from the one house to my old house um it takes a little while maybe i'll put in like mine carts that ooh, that's that's definitely the move we're putting in mine carts um in a mine rail so that i don't have to run oh yeah dude i'm a genius okay and then it'll drop me off here, and I can store the mine carts in the chest. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. I'm thinking of things. We're going to be pumping out videos left and right now. Um. So yeah, we're back in the basement. and uh. So yeah, I think that's going to wrap up this video. Um, Thank you guys for watching and uh, sticking around, even though I haven't been posting videos. There's Cornwallis. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. And... uh. Then this zombie villager came up and started attacking me, and it scared me. So I so I killed him. But then I thought to myself, 
I need villagers. And there was one in the distance, so I was going to try to cure him, but I didn't have an apple. And I went to go find an apple, and he didn't, like, when I, <laughs> when I went to go find the apple, it turned day, and he followed me and went out in the light, and he died. And I had gold, but I didn't have any apples. So, RIP to the two zombie villagers, and I guess I'll just have to go capture some regular villages, villages, villagers, in another video. But yeah, that's going to do it for now, so I'll see you guys later.